What's up YouTube, Unseen here with another Pokemon Black and White Wi-Fi battle. And uh, this is against Dan. Once again, he finally changed up his team. And uh, as you can see, it's actually a really good team. And he beats me. And this is the first loss that I'm uploading. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Dan, I mean, you deserve this win. Because I've probably beaten him at least 40 times, so he finally beat me. It's definitely well earned, and I'm gonna—I gotta give him some credit for it, because I'm trying for a pretty long time. So I leave off with Diamond Eyes or my Sableye, and he has a Prankster. And my goal is pretty much just to screw up whatever he sends in, which I figured would be his Nine Tails. And I taunt it because I don't want it to go for like Hypnosis or Toxic or whatever. Nine tails do, that's what I usually see them do. But he goes for flamethrower right away, and that really screws me over. So I'm at pretty low HP, and I know that I cannot take another flamethrower, even if I do get a toxic off. And I don't want to risk it, so I go into my Gastrodon, because he can wall this thing, even in the sun. So he uses the flamethrower again, and he gets the burn. And that is honestly the last thing that I wanted, because you never want your wall to be burned, or well, toxic this guy, as well, but uh, yeah, so I'm not really feeling that good, and I switch back into my diamond eyes, thinking he would switch out, because I have two super effective uh, stab moves on him, but he doesn't, he goes for solar beam, so it's actually a pretty good thing that I switched out, because my Sableye is actually able to take this hit, and I'm at, like, red HP after this, pretty low, I get my leftovers, and... I know that I want to try to save this guy for later, just because, like, you never know when he might be useful. He has, a uh, pranks, like I said before, so he can taunt anyone, he can, uh, status them and recover, and I'm hoping I could do something with him. So I bring in Gucci, and, uh, Gucci is a t he's such a monster. He doesn't really do that much, this battle, but he's still great. So, yeah, he goes for, a uh, Solar Beam. And my plan is just to stall him out. It doesn't matter if I get burned because um, of my ability. It prevents uh, any, like, status entry hazards and, like, you know, recoil damage and all that. So I go for Calm Mind. I just want to try to stall him out to the point where he can't do any damage to me. Because I can recover at the end anyway. So he goes for Flamethrower. And it still does a pretty decent chunk. You'll see in a second. And so I know if I go for another Calm Mind, I can take another Flamethrower and recover after that. But he decides to switch out knowing that it's really not going in his favor at the moment. <clears throat> so he brings in Leafeon, and I go for Recover. <clears throat> wow, Recover. Just because I want to get my HP back up. And I'm amazed that I take this hit. Like, with max HP, this guy is a monster. You can invest most of your other EVs into both of your defenses because, uh, if you just give him Life Orb, his ability cancels out the Life Orb recoil, and that way you can still get some pretty good special attacks up, even without that much investment into it. So I actually take the X Scissor from Leafeon, and Leafeon is some pretty respectable attack. So, um, I'm feeling pretty good right now. I use Psychic, I get the crit. I'm not sure if it matters, because Leafeon really looks like... Not really that bulky, but I don't know. I mean, I am plus two, so I really don't think it matters that much. So he goes into Infernape, and I do not want Gucci dying yet. So I bring him back, and I go into my Penis Pinch. And that's because after seeing that he is a Sun Team, I know that I really can't do that much to pretty much anybody on his team. They all have neutral or super effective moves on me. Actually, except for um, Venusaur. But, I mean, you'll see his set in a minute, so it really wouldn't even matter that much, because I know I cannot one-hit KO a Venusaur. Unless I get, like, a Swords Dance up, but I know I'm not doing that because of all the fire guys. So, I have a uh, Steel Gen on him now. I used to have a Choice Banded, but it like, that would screw me over sometimes, so I use Steel Gem, well, Steel Gem, so I can get a good attack off every once in a while, and then maybe use a Swords Dance to increase my stats. That's my new set for Scissor, but, uh... He is actually, he's going to put up a sub, 
and bullet punch even with max attack technician is not enough to break it so he must have some decent bulk to him i know it's not very effective but i still thought it'd break it so he goes for roost and i know this is going nowhere but i really don't want to switch in any of my guys to a solar power boosted uh, charizard and then he also gets a boost just for being in the sun if he uses a fire type move. And I really, really don't want to risk anyone dying just right now. I know this guy won't be able to do that much. So I just keep him in to break the sub. Just pretty much as uh, death fodder. And I get the crit, which I really could have used when I actually first attacked him. I might have been able to kill him. And whatever, what can you do? So he goes for the four times super effective in the sun. Solar power boosted heat wave, and there's no way that I could ever survive that. So I go in my Dumbo, thinking I could probably scare him off because he knows I have uh, Ice Shard. He watches my uh, my videos, so yeah. And I know he's going to try to do that, so I go for Stealth Rocks because I can hurt a couple of his guys just from switching in. I know Nine Tails. Is weak to it. Charizard is his uh, Toga Kiss is, and he goes for close combat. Now Dumbo, being I'm pretty sure he's max HP. If he's not max, he's pretty close to it. But then I've max HP, adamant max attack, and the rest of my EVs are in defense. So I know I can take whatever this thing is going to hit me with. And I go for Earthquake. I'm actually thinking he's going to be sashed because they usually are, but it's not. So I'm not even going to complain. It doesn't matter though because I have a uh, Ice Shard anyway. But yeah, so I take him out. Oh, okay, sorry about that. So, brings in his Togekiss, and I'm not really sure what I want to do. I want to try to save my uh, Dumbo so I can get Ice Shard on Venusaur. So, go into my Gastrodon, thinking that I can take the hit just because I'm max um, special. Oh, wow, max HP, and I do have some special attack, or special defense, I mean investment. And it doesn't do that much, so I'm feeling like I can take an Air Slash. But after Burn, I can't. I honestly think that if I didn't have Burn, I could have taken this move. But I guess we'll never know. So I do think that that Burn mattered, though. And that would have changed the game significantly. Because I could have just continued to recover up and stalled him out. So... I bring my Diamond Eyes back out, just pretty much to die. I want to Toxic him, so that way I can reduce his uh, special attack. So, yeah, my Diamond Eyes is going to die now. And this Togekiss is just, like, mopping up my team. Took out my Gastrodon, my Diamond Eyes, and now I bring back Gucci. And, uh, I'm thinking that Gucci has a lot of HP, good special bulk, and he's toxic. I can take this, all right? <sighs> well, that would be wrong. He uses Air Slash, and he kills me. And I, <laughs> I'm i really getting pissed off right now. I'm cursing a lot. I mean, like, I don't know what to do to this thing. So, I really don't have a lot of options left. So I go back in my Dumbo. Trying to just get some extra damage on him, and he withdraws, which I actually was not really expecting that. He goes into Nine Tails, and yeah, I go for Ice Shard, wanted to hurt the Togekiss, so he made a good play there. And uh, my Ice Shard does practically nothing. Huh. So he is obviously gonna outspeed me, and. What does he go for now? Is it hypnosis? I'm pretty sure. Let's find out. No, okay, never mind. He goes for solar beam. I don't know why I was thinking hypnosis. But, um, yeah, he goes for uh, solar beam. And I know I can't take this because I'm not invested in special defense and, I mean, it's super effective as well. So now, I only got one guy left. It's my Darminitan. So I bring in my big monkey, and, uh, what is this guy, he's max speed, and he's a uh, sheer force with life orb, so go for earthquake, I know I can take out nine tails just because my guy has a shit ton of attack, 
and nine tails does have decent hp but it's not really that physically bulky so yeah that's gonna be an easy kill for me and i get life orb damage so he brings in his uh venusaur and i want to go for flare blitz i want to get this thing out of the way but he goes for sleep powder and he's faster than me because uh venusaur's dream world ability is chlorophyll so yeah i might want to make one of these soon because they're actually really really good with growth So, I go for a Flare Blitz again this turn, but I don't wake up, and he goes for growth, he's plus 2 attack and special attack. I'm not really sure if this guy's mixed or completely special, because he'll use Solar Beam in the next turn. So, yeah, he goes for Solar Beam, and I take this. I don't know how I have, like, I think 6 EVs in HP. And I don't think I have anything really in my defenses. I'm pretty sure I'm max attack and max speed. So yeah, I wake up now, and I go for Flare Blitz. And I'm pretty confident that I could have killed it, but, like, anyway, but then the sun boost, 50%, and I know I can get a kill on this no matter what. Especially because it's super effective as well. So, I bring him down, I survive with 2 HP. And right here I'm thinking that he's down to just Togekiss. I completely forgot that he still had Charizard left. And I was like, I was really happy. I'm not going to lie. I was feeling like I could just get a tie on this. I go for Flare Blitz. And then I look at the bottom screen. And I'm like, god damn it. He still has Charizard. So I take out Togekiss. I kill myself with Recoil. And his Charizard's still alive. So he wins the battle. So. Great game, Dan. I gotta give you credit for it. You finally beat me. It was a good match. And, uh, yeah, so thanks everyone for uh, watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later.